culture of violence. Back, guys. All right, uh, today, as we said in the title, we're going to explain how to get your, um, your park switch and your reverse light switch working. Um, if you've changed your motor or the headers or anything else like that, there is a steel rod that goes up behind uh, the firewall and it connects to a linkage which connects to your steering column at the back and that operates your reverse. In my Firebird, although it says there is a neutral safety switch, I've been right under there, I've tracked the wires, I cannot find either of those, but for the sake of my alarm and the sake of my reverse, I'm going to customize on this one. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, here's the shifter. Uh, for who you guys who don't realize, these are actually a hidden quick shifter as well. They pull to the side. Um, if you're not aware of this, you bring it down, you push it to the side, click it forward, it ratchets, do it again, and it ratchets, and so on and so forth. There you go. Hidden secret. <laughs> I didn't know that till a few years ago. All right. So here we go. We've, what I'm going to do is I've made these marks. See these uh, bolts here? We're going to use these as the trigger bolts for uh, for our switches. There's our park one, and if we move it back, we know that that is new. Uh, reverse. All right, so park and reverse, got them all set. So these are micro switches. Um, I happen to have some lying around because I build arcade machines, but you can buy them anywhere. They're as cheap as. They just uh, basically trigger, and... Um, You've got your common earth, and then you've got your, your two connectors here. Um, they're pretty straightforward. You put a multimeter on them, you know which way you want them. You can have them either on triggered or off triggered. It's up to you. But, all right, getting down it. So what we're going to do here, we're going to try and fit this so that when we get in park, that engages, right? That is going to be our park or neutral safety switch um, for the sake of my alarm system that has a remote starter. Remember, I'm running an LS now, so it's kind of handy being able to remote start it, warm it up. Um, and for the the uh, <laughs> for the reverse lights, so I don't have to turn the bottom of the the column anymore, which is what I've been doing. We're going to mount this one just like such, so that it triggers when it hits that point and uh, hits the reverse lights. All right, I'm going to show you how I make a little bracket out of some basic 3D hot melt beads. You'll see them in one sec. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, let me explain this. This right here is, you buy them in any electronic shop and stuff like that. You don't need a 3D printer, first thing. They're just little beads that are designed for 3D printing. But if you take boiling hot water and you take these little white balls and you Pour them in to the water, the coolest thing happens, and it's one of the handiest tricks that I figured out myself. No one showed me this, so I just figured it out. If you watch my previous videos also, you will see where I fix uh, uh, broken um, sort of panels and stuff inside the car, like the little trims and things. Now, as you can see, it actually begins to turn like clear, and it becomes quite malleable. And it stays malleable for at least a couple of minutes. So you can mold this into any shape. So as you can see, it sort of goes into a clear kind of jelly. Now you can keep reshaping it. Why am I doing this? I'll tell you why. This switch needs to be sat onto here, but it needs to be elevated off of the, uh, the housing a little bit. Otherwise, it just, it's just not going to fit. So I make my own little moldings this way. So I'm going to attempt to do this right here in front of you. So... What we do is we just shape it to the area that we want it to fit. Now this will set within a few minutes, but you can put it in cold water or in a fridge. And here's a cool thing. Once it's done, it'll turn as white as that piece right there. You believe it or not, it goes from totally clear to totally white. So what we're trying to do here is just mold a little bracket. And this little bracket is going to help to fit my switch on and mount to it and all. Now I can even screw into this, I can glue to this, I can do whatever I want. So as you can see, on there already, started to shape it. Okay, so it's shaping. And the idea is we're going to take our switch. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry guys, the other day for that other video about fixing a, a little panels inside the car. I had a cold and I kept slurping and 
everybody else and I'm trying not to do that today because it's only a day later so all we're going to do this switch is going to hit here just going to press it so it fits in the position I want it this is actually going to embed a nice little mold as well you can see it's already starting to turn white guys now so there's our switch we take the park look at that can you guys see that look look see we've created a park or a neutral safety switch as they say now all I'm doing now is just molding this stuff to really lock the uh, the unit in place obviously you want to free up where uh, your spade plugs and everything else go on but it's so malleable and here's a cool thing if you stuff up with it simply just stick it back in the water and you can reshape it again so now look I've actually built and fabricated a little custom mold now I can pull this off like such you can see it I can actually take the switch out and you'll see we've created that let me put in some cold water and I'll show you what it looks like there we go that was about a minute under cold water it's gone pretty well rock hard it's going to set a little bit more than that as well you can file this you can cut this you can do whatever you want but what you've actually got now is the really cool unit because we designed this to fit there snugly and our switch is actually going to lock in place there like that now as you can see we've now got our park safety switch bracket created obviously we're going to have to affix this to to the unit so there's a couple ways we can do that uh, because this stuff is so hard and rigid we can actually drill a hole through this and say put a uh, screw through the body housing which won't affect anything in that point and um, we can also put little screws straight through the switch as well and lock those in place so and because we did it that way there's actually two little stems that push on it what you could do another way too is you could simply put the switch in place take another piece of the stuff jam it down it will actually adhere to itself as well so there's another way of doing it so there we go how quick and easy was it to make a bracket for my neutral safety switch and all we got to do is our reverse one up here hook it up and we're ready to go so there it is there I just added this little wing on the top the reason I did that guys was because I just like it to lock in so it locks in really nice and you can see it locks in nicely and it's got a little wrap around on the back there guys and the little micro switch simply pushes straight into there and we can now have our park safety switch there we go all right guys here's our finished product uh, we've done so you can see look this is all going to be hidden anyway so you can't tell it wraps right around the back there this is a, all just joined together so all we do is if we go in reverse there's our reverse trigger right there park there's our park see now that simple idea means that we can pull that off at any time so if we want to pull that off we just have to pull it from behind here lift the whole thing off and the whole unit will actually come off in one piece just like that and it's all molded to fit straight back on the side of it so there you go guys here's how to make yourself a uh, reverse trigger wire system without having to mess with the integrity of your uh, original shifter if you want to switch back to your original running gear or whatever else you can just literally pull this off toss it aside use it for another day and it's rock hard there you go all right guys thumbs up if you liked it thumb downs if you don't comment please share let me know what you think cheers guys bye